Hey guys, and welcome to Game Jam, and today we're playing a new game. No, okay, it's not really a new game. It's an old game. It is Carmen San Diego, and so I'm using DOSBox right now, which is a way of playing old DOS games, and here we are going to reset it to a new game. Uh, this game came out, I believe it was 19... 1990? Uh, so it's pretty darn old. Uh, but I do remember playing this as a kid, and that's kind of why I wanted to relive that again. So I've identified myself, uh, identified myself already. I am the rank of sleuth. And here we go. Flash. National treasure stolen from London. The treasure has been identified as the key to the Tower of London. Male suspect reported at the scene of the crime. Your assignment? Track the thief from London to his hideout and arrest him. You must apprehend the thief by Sunday at 5 p.m. Good luck, sleuth Jamin! Okay, so let me give you the, the basics of the game here. This is an educational game that came out in 1990, as I said before. Uh, and the object of the game was it was actually just to try to teach kids a little bit about uh, world geography, world history. Um, now, this is really, really, really basic. Uh, it may seem like there's more complications to it, but essentially what you do is you're trying to figure out... These are the next places that you can go to visit... And there's essentially a bunch of clues at these three locations that will help you figure out where the next location is to go. And so the idea is kids would go to their encyclopedias and they'd get some sort of clue and say, oh, you need to know this information. So they'd go to their encyclopedia, look it up, and be like, oh, I need to go to this city. And that's the entirety of the game. Uh, you're also trying at the same time to solve for which criminal is doing it. And essentially what you want to do before you get to the location, you want to solve for which criminal took the item so you have a warrant for his arrest. Uh, so that being said, let's go get our clues. Uh, so we go to the sports club here. There's always, I think, three locations to go to. Uh, here's the waiter. A suspicious person was here and he wanted to know how to identify an active volcano. I like the ring he had on. Okay, interesting. So this is also, this is giving you a clue. He's got a ring and uh, this is a clue about the location and active volcano. Cool. So let's go to the crying thing. This is our little computer that tells us, uh, allows us to track um, features, or, la or allows us to track who the uh, criminal is. So go here, ring. So there's one of the features. And then if I click this button, I can actually have a compute. And it'll give me who fits that description. So it's Nick or Scar. Ooh, Scar sounds so evil. Okay, let's go get some more clues here. Uh, let me check locations again real quick. So we have Rejevic, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Kigali, and Mexico City. Oh, jeez. I'm trying not to use Google here. I'm trying to use my own brain, but uh, I, I'm having difficulty remembering where Rejevic is and Kigali is. Uh, let's try the harbor. So we know an active volcano, right? All I knew is that he left in a ship flying a red and blue flag. He is riding a motorbike. Okay. Oh, that's another important clue. Motorbike. Motorcycle. Close enough. Let's see who it is. Nick. So now we've already figured out who it is. So now we just have to find him in his location. Uh, so we've got one more clue to get. So red and blue flag. Active volcano. If you guys already know what it is, I'm going to feel silly because I don't yet. The person you're looking for here, changing his money to the kroner, he was wearing a helmet. Uh, kroner. It's not Mexico City, obviously. I want to say it's Reg... Okay, hang on. I'm going to look on the map to help me figure it out. They don't use a cr kroner on Kigali because it's Africa, so it's Reg... Crossing my fingers here. This is bad. This is a game for like six to twelve year olds uh, from a long time ago, uh, and you can see the, this information is probably out of date. I, I don't know if it's really two hundred fifty thousand residents anymore. Things have changed. Uh, so now at this point in the game, we've already gotten the crime solved or got the uh, suspect. I'm sorry. Then we're just going to be looking for where did he go? London, Paris, or San Marino? So let's go take a look at our clues. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. I can see him. Why don't I do something? The vile henchman, you must be on the right track. So this is the games telling you that you actually uh, were in the correct location. If you did not get those clues, 
everybody would say to you, oh, I don't know, I haven't seen anybody, and then, then you know you went to the wrong location. So this time the bartender says, a reliable source told me he planned to climb Mount Blanc. He said he didn't like seafood. Okay, Mount Blanc. I think that is San Marino, but I could be wrong. So let's try the airport. My sources tell me, uh, sorry, flight attendant. My sources tell me he flew off in a plane with a red, white, and blue flag on its wing. He said he was a mountain climber. Okay, wait a second. France and England both have red, white, and blue. Where is San Marino? That's Italy. That's every, okay. I'm pretty sure it's San Marino at this point. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's just go there. Let's do it. We already know who the criminal is, so we don't need to worry about that thing anymore. And... Oh, is it just one... Was there really a... Wow. Shows how much I know. For some reason, I thought San Marino was going to be in Italy. But apparently, it's its own tiny little country. Uh, let's hopefully... <laughs> let's hope we're in the right spot. No! We went to the wrong spot. You guys are looking at me like... You idiot. Mount Blanc is not in San Marino. Oh, really? Okay, so let's depart. We're going to go back to Rejevic. Uh There's another thing here that you might not have noticed is that there's this timer here. This is telling me how much time I have left to solve the crime. I have until Sunday at noon to solve the crime. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, red, white, and blue is both locations, but I'm pretty sure Mount Blanc is not going to be in London. It's going to be in Paris. Shame on me for getting the clues wrong. All right. The bank. There we go. He's looking all shifty. <clears throat> all I knew is that he changes money to francs. He had black hair. Okay, what would have francs? Baghdad, Iraq? No. Rejevic? No. But what's Bamako? This is, oh gosh, this is making it so difficult because I can't, t I thought they just said Rejevic was Kroners, so it doesn't make sense to go back to Rejevic. Did Bamako use francs? This is difficult because not only do I have to have some sort of, I, I feel like I have a decent sense of world history or world geography, but uh, these are clues from 25 years ago, so I, I'm not so sure anymore. All I know is that he uh, asked for a guide to Timbuktu. He had a fancy ring on it. Timbuktu. That is so familiar. I am pretty sure that is in... Africa? <laughs> I'm not Googling. We're going to get the wrong answer, whether I like it or not. So we're just going to get into the clue here. Let's see if we can figure this out. Suspicious person... A, su a suspicious person was here, and he left in a vehicle flying a green, yellow, and red flag. All right. So we're going to depart. Green, yellow, and red. Uh, I don't think it's Iraq. I don't think... I'm going with Bamako. I don't know. This is bad. I didn't think they had francs, so this is what's confusing me. Oh, and this is in Mali. Oh, actually, I think Mali does have francs. Yes, we got the right location. You can see he's being all sneaky. The person you're looking for here uh, was here, and he changed his money to the kroner. I like the ring he had on. Where is the kroner? I think that is Oslo. I don't know Port Moresby. Or is kroner Greek? All right, more clues are needed. He was looking for a guidebook to the Fjord, Fjords. Oh, God, this is, like, making me look so uh, dumb, but it's okay. And he bragged about dangerous sports. I'm pretty sure that's going to be Oslo. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to go for it. I'm running out of time, guys. And it's known for its beautiful Fjords. Fjords. It's not Fjords, it's Fjords, I'm pretty sure. All right, uh, let's go see. 
Am I on the right track? I'm pretty sure I am. <gasps> I am on the right track. How many more stops is it? Sources tell me he said he was going to survey the Ural Mountains. I believe that is in Moscow. It is definitely in Moscow because it's not in New York and it's not in Bamako. So let's just go. I'm not going to wait around anymore. Time to fly. The Soviet Union is the largest country in the world. Uh, it is, but it is not, uh, no longer as big as it once was, right? Um, so let's go take a look. And now this is where I believe we are going to be on... Gone. All I know is that something suspicious is going on in town. Really now? <gasps> the criminal's running away. Oh no! These are cutscenes. Advanced cutscenes from the 1990s. Lots of gunfire. I like that, that triple triangle strat. That's an advanced technique for catching criminals. And it worked! Though two of them died on the way, so only one came back. Ah, uh, good enough, it's fine. And he's in the jail. Now the question is, did I get the, the suspect right or wrong? Because if I get the suspect wrong, he will get out of jail. But he looks kind of sad in there, so I'm thinking... Thanks to your help, the London police have apprehended Nick Brunch. Nick Brunch had the loot, the key to the Tower of London, which will be returned to the grateful residents of London. We here at Interpol thank you for your good work on this case. Your success will be noted on your record. Two more cases until your next promotion. Woohoo! I only messed up once and guessed a bunch of other times. Well, that's kind of bad. Maybe I need to work up on my, uh, my geography. So that's it for Carmen San Diego. There are a lot more advanced versions of Carmen San Diego. There's one in space, one in time, one in USA. So if you like to see this, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite one is, and maybe I'll give it a try. And uh, if this is fun and exciting for you, give it a thumbs up. And I'm sorry if I uh, poorly pronounced any, any names along the way. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.